Rabbit's Ears from Disney's Winnie the Pooh One summer day, Rabbit worked in his garden, pulling up the weeds. Such lovely quiet, he said to himself. Every once in a while, a rabbit needs time to think. Not about anything special, but just to think. There's nothing quite as nice as a quiet day in the garden. Rabbit sighed blissfully and tossed another weed onto the pile. Suddenly, the silence was disturbed by a loud buzzing sound. A bee zoomed past Rabbit's head, followed soon after by Pooh. The bear stomped through Rabbit's garden scattering the weeds. Pooh! Rabbit cried. Sorry! Pooh called back. Can't stop! I'm on the trail of some honey! Rabbit watched Pooh disappear into the forest, then collected the weeds and replaced them neatly in a pile. As Rabbit continued to work in his garden, he began to relax again and even to smile. But his smile quickly faded when he heard Roo and Tigger come bouncing down the path. Catch me if you can! Roo called. Here I come! Tigger shouted back. Rabbit jumped up. Please, 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 stop making that racket, he pleaded. What racket? Tigger asked, coming to a halt. You are shouting, Rabbit said, his voice raising. Can't you bounce without shouting? I guess we can, Roo admitted. But shouting makes the bouncing more fun. It's not fun for me, Rabbit insisted crossly. Some of us like peace and quiet. Then we will go someplace else, said Tigger. Come on, Roo. After Tigger and Roo left, Rabbit hurried to his tool shed. He found some wood and made a sign board. Then he took out his paint and paintbrush and in big black letters, he painted the words, Quiet! No shouting, talking, etc. or bothering rabbit. As soon as it was dry, rabbit carried the sign back to his garden and posted it where everyone would see it. The next day, as rabbit was picking tomatoes, Pooh and Piglet wandered down the path. As they approached, Rabbit could hear them chatting excitedly. Rabbit stood up and said, Can't you see the sign? It says quiet, no shouting, talking, etc. or bothering Rabbit. Oh, Pooh said, So that's what it says. Piglet gulped and nodded, afraid to speak. Then he and Pooh quietly tiptoed away. A little while later, Owl came by. Why, Rabbit? Owl exclaimed. What an excellent sign! I should make one for my house. Owl droned on. It's Awful, some folks never stop talking. Take, for example, my Uncle Robert. Rabbit tapped his foot impatiently. Um, Owl coughed. I'll be getting along now. Happy thinking, Rabbit. Saying, Owl left the place. Alone at last, Rabbit began picking corn. Suddenly, 
the sweet silence was interrupted by a loud tap 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 sound rabbit reeled around wondering who would dare ignore his sign finally rabbit looked up in a tree oh no he said it's a woodpecker as the woodpecker continued tapping rabbit covered his ears to his dismay he could still hear tap 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 so rabbit ran back to his house and dug through his winter clothing when he found a pair of ear muffs he clamped them over his ears and said this should do the trick but when rabbit returned to his garden he could still hear the woodpecker tapping away the ear muffs were good for keeping out cold but they were terrible at keeping out loud sounds as rabbit stood in his garden eeyore strolled by crunching noisily on some thistle when eeyore stopped to stare at rabbit's ear muffs rabbit said i can hear you crunching as he spoke he glared and pointed to the sign eeyore carefully read the words he swallowed the thistle then said i get the message i won't bother you any longer nice seeing you anyway rabbit and he walked away after eeyore left rabbit tore off his ear muffs and marched back inside i have had enough noise and bother for one day he said i need a nice quiet nap rabbit stretched out on top of his bed but just as he began to doze he was rudely awakened by a chirping noise Rabbit buried his head under the pillow. For a moment there was a silence. Then he heard it again. Cricket, cricket. Rabbit jumped off the bed and began searching for the cricket. He finally saw it, but the cricket saw Rabbit first and leaped behind the chest of drawers. Cricket, cricket. it called now i'll never have peace and quiet rabbit moaned perhaps christopher robin can help me so rabbit hurried over to his friend's house when the boy opened the door he said why rabbit what's the matter rabbit sputtered talking tapping crunching chirping there is too much noise I just can't think. Seeing Rabbit in such distress, Christopher Robin disappeared into the house, then returned with some cotton. "Try this," the boy said. Rabbit gratefully took two wads of cotton and put them in his ears. "Do they work?" Christopher Robin asked. What said rabbit do they work the boy repeated i can't hear you rabbit cried good said christopher robin as he waved and closed the door that night rabbit slept peacefully with the cotton in his ears he didn't hear a sound He didn't hear the cricket chirping beside his bed. He didn't hear the birds singing in the morning, and he didn't hear the crows cawing in his garden. And he had a very quiet sleep. That afternoon, when Rabbit went outside to do his watering, he saw a terrible sight. Every last one of his corn cobs had been picked clean cross rabbit exclaimed if only i had heard them 
I could have shoot them away. Then, just as he began to clean up the mess, he saw Pooh and the others walking down the path. To his surprise, Rabbit's friends walked silently past him. Wait, he cried. Where are you going? Pooh moved his mouth, but Rabbit could not hear him. What? Rabbit said. Then he remembered the cotton balls and took them out of his ears. What did you say, Pooh? Rabbit asked again. I said I knocked on your door to ask you on our picnic. But you did not answer. So I thought you didn't want to be disturbed. Oh dear, said Rabbit. I wanted peace and quiet. But... I guess I went too far. Then, with an embarrassed smile, Rabbit asked, May I come on the picnic too? We are going to make noise, warned Pooh. A lots of noise, chimed in Piglet and Tigger. To prove it, Roo picked up two sticks and banged them together. That's all right, said Rabbit. I'll even help you. Then, as the friends strolled down the path, Pooh made up a song. Tap, tap, chip, chip. Yakety yak, clankety cling. Poor Rabbit hears so many sounds when all he wants to do is think. But noise can be a lovely thing. Like friends who laugh and birds that sing. Rabbit smiled and clapped along with Pooh's song. It was a music to his ears. Rabbit finally realized being quiet is not much fun as being with his friends. The End Please subscribe. Wow. Thank you.